I decided to make a micro quill where I spent 3 days above ground to collect resources, before spending the rest of my micro world life living underground. This is a series and thing that I've wanted to do for a while, and would love to bring you guys on this experience with me. So let's get straight to it. So this journey began with me spawning in one of the best seeds possible. I mean, there was really good biomes everywhere. And this is a series where the point is to live underground for 3 days, talk about unfortunate. So I swiftly began to chop down some trees to obtain wood and saplings before making some tools for dirt and stone to upgrade my wooden ones. This is when the first night arose, where I went to the nearby ruined portal, looted some valuables and some magma blocks. After this I headed into the jungle where I got some watermelons, chopped down a dark oak tree and then decided to do some adventure management. Suddenly I was attacked by a spider and a drowned with a trident. Knowing that this was a losing battle, I made a runner to continue collecting items. I spent the remainder of my above ground time to explore the other interesting biomes that I had spawned between. This was mainly because I wanted to have more than one wood option. My final moments above ground mainly involved collecting as much netherrack as I could from the ruined portal before heading back into the jungle to find a cave to properly start my underground life and luckily after a few minutes of searching I came across a dripstone strip cave which wasn't perfect but would have to do for now. In my first few moments of being underground, I decided to block myself by a wall and mine out a small cube home for myself, in which I set my respawn point after finishing. That next morning I kept expanding my home, the expanding was going great, and what the minecraft is happening here? Now with the small expansion of my room sorted, I had to do even more expanding, but this time on a big scale, and when I say big, I really do mean big. And for any of you wondering why I'm expanding so extensively, it was to make room for growing trees. As the place I was currently in was nothing like the expansive world above that we all take for granted. After one expansion load and item sorting, I heard a commotion happening outside my dirt wall. Who would have known the underground had such a dangerous populace? And after getting a taste of my local community, I kept expanding and expanding- Oh! Hey there buddy, what are you doing here? And expanding and even more expanding. I finally had a big enough space for growing trees, and during a test to make sure my world saved, I came across a slimy intruder, something that would be telling of what was to come next. I started off lowering my floor to create more space for tree growth, as well as collecting other materials scattered in my walls at the time. After that I planted my first tree before having to clear out the mobs behind my dirt wall. Upon my return I heard splats of jelly and that's when I came across the army that had spawned at my home. Yes, this entire floor I made for the purpose of growing trees was unintentionally a slime generator, meaning that I would always have to go through a regular clearance of these guys during my expansions. Next up I tested some bone meal on my saplings to see if the tree would grow, and it did. This meant I could now comfortably have an underground wood supply. During some more clearance I set up a wheat farm as food had now become my next priority, as up to this point I was essentially surviving with the food I came with from the land above. I also planted more saplings in order to up my wood production. Then suddenly a parrot showed up out of nowhere. Does this mean other mobs were also now wanting a life underground? Next up was more expansion, and an end visitor, and slime control, before deciding that I wanted to clear a massive chunk of dripstone outside to give myself some more space and blocks. After clearing out the dripstone, I stumbled upon some passive mobs, which gave me a short moment of food stability as my wheat farm wasn't doing wonders. But then during a day of mob clearing, I struck luck 
as a zombie had dropped a potato, now meaning the food situation had changed. Then during some mining outside of my cube, I heard something behind me. I turned around and witnessed insanity. A pillager patrol had ended up in my cave. With no options, I ran back to my cube, forged some armor and went into combat. which was going well until an enderman had butted in, causing my very first death. And trust me, if you think that was frustrating, endermen became a huge bane for me, as one of them literally caused a home invasion, where I felt I was stuck in a loop until I finally managed to break out of it. After those horrific events, it reminded me of how I was all alone down here. I was beginning to yearn for companionship in any way, shape or form. So when I found a wandering trader out in the cave, I knew he wasn't leaving alive, and I mean that literally, since it was only the llama that I wanted. But even then, that wasn't enough, so I was lucky enough to find a parrot out in the cave, who I tamed to be my fellow cave dweller. These last few cave days have been rough, but they reminded me of the reason of having a companion. Being down there alone had been making me go insane, doing nothing but mining blocks, clearing out slimes continuously, and constantly under threat had left an impression on me. I knew if the underground was going to be my home, I would have to look at and hold on to the positives, or what hope did I actually have? My next few underground days consisted of expanding the roof of my tree room, mainly to create space for massive jungle trees. Not a hole went on here, but constant mining, though I did end it by watching a standoff. Though suddenly, during my mining outside, I came across a miraculous discovery. As I found out that right next to the strip of cave I had settled in, lay a much grander cave, perfect for growing trees and better for living in in general. I knew if I was going to make a move to live in this new underground world, I would have to explore and make it safe from any hostiles. So after sorting out some items, I made my way into the cave and found- What is going on here? Nothing but pure danger. There was mobs at every turn, and sure, while you could say this was more dangerous than the strip I settled in, at least I had room to properly combat the monsters in there. As well as this, I knew if I wanted a chance at surviving, I had to use the monsters themselves to my advantage, looking for opportunities to use skeletons to turn a few battles in my favour. Though even though this tactic worked, it still couldn't prevent a few deaths from occurring. 
After doing some heavy mining, clearing out and lighting up, I decided to make the tactical decision of heading home with what I collected, and I must say, I had never been happier to see the cube of the home that I lived in. The hardships that I have endured thus far had been stress inducing, but with perseverance to keep pushing on, I knew what I was going to do next in order to make the underground my home. 